Hello, and in this session we will look at importing your PKT or your packet files into Civil 3D. So just a couple quick notes on that. Yeah, you can quickly and easily add either a singular or multiple PKT files. So if you have a whole bunch of them in a folder, you can grab them all and import them into Civil 3D in just a couple steps. Uh, it's very simple steps. You create a new tool palette and then you create or import your PKTs into Civil 3D. There's two options. When you have the tool palette option selected, as we'll see, um, the subassemblies will be imported into your current tool palette, or you can select an additional tab within your tool palettes to add those to. I always like to create a new one, that way I know what my custom subassemblies where they're located. The other option is the catalog library option, and that will bring them into your My Imported Tools catalog uh, within a catalog library. So let's switch over to Civil 3D and take a quick look at bringing in our PKT files. Okay, so I'm here inside Civil 3D. I'm just going to grab my tool palettes here on the right side. And again, I like to create a new palette tab. That way I have my custom subassemblies on one. You can put these on any tab. So I'm going to right click here where it says tool palettes. And I'm going to select new palette. And just going to type in something here, just SAC, subassembly composer. And then on that SAC tab, I'm going to right click again, and we have the option to import subassemblies. Asks me for my source file. I'm just going to grab that folder here under my examples. I'm going to bring them all in at the same time. So I'm just going to shift and select, hit open. You can see here, there's our two options, tool palette and catalog library my imported tools. We're going to choose the tool palette and it defaults to your current tab and again you can select that and put it on any tab you want. I'm going to leave it on my current one and hit OK. It takes just a second and if we look at that you can see that our subassemblies have been imported in. You can see on some of these as I hover over it it'll tell me what they are. It'll also give us that description if we put that in the PKT file. It also has the image there that uh, you can view and kind of help you organize those and, and just have quick glimpses at that. So it's very easy to bring in our subassembly composer files into Civil 3D.